Hey guys, has, has anybody seen the truce? We gotta start filming, guys. Come on. Forget it. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna start practicing. All right. All right. On today's, on, on today's notes. On today's notes. I can't do this anymore. I can. I, I can't do it. I can't do it. You love doing today's medical moment. What are you talking about? You man? know what I'm talking about. It's those trolls. <laughs> those trolls. Ah! Stop that stupid troll talk, man. You're a grown man. <laughs> but the internet trolls are everywhere and they're so mean. <laughs> oh, God. There's a troll right there. <laughs> oh, there's another troll. And he's going to get you. And he's going to get you. And he is going to get you, too. I can't do this. I can't do it. Psychology of internet. Today's medical moment. Yeah. I'm Dr. Idris. I'm Dr. Jamil. And this is today's medical moment. And I stand before you today, guys, a humbled, chastened man. I, I criticized this man, and for that I'm he sorry. Did. Because I said trolls do not exist. And I think he slapped me. I did slap him. I said, and what grown man is afraid of internet trolls? And, and I stand before you humbled because trolls do exist. Believe it or not, all joking aside, a study recently was published out of Canada. It, it was done at the University of Manitoba. And what it found was certain forms of internet trolls do exist. No, and internet trolling is a real phenomenon. And so what the researchers did was they identified people as internet trolls using various metrics that we won't get into. But then once they identified people as internet trolls, they subjected these people to some very in-depth psychological assessments. And lo and behold, what they found was most internet trolls actually suffer from some deep dark, disturbing psychopathology. Basically, they, they tend to have sick brains and sick minds. And so they saw a lot of disturbing characteristics in internet trolls, but there were four personality traits that were very common in internet trolls. And the so they terrible termed these, tetrad. They, yeah, exactly. They termed these uh, personality traits the terrible tetrad. And so our resident troll expert is going to tell you now about these terrible tetrad personality traits. Number one. Machiavellianism. So most internet trolls were found to exhibit Machiavellianism. They tended to be manipulative and deceitful. Number two, narcissism. It's all about me. It's my world. Most internet trolls were self-obsessed. They felt like it was their world and we were just here to use up their oxygen and to be burned. Number three, psychopathy. Most internet trolls were psychopaths. They actually lacked empathy or remorse. Number four, and this is no surprise to me at all, Sadism. They're sadists. Most internet trolls were actually found to be sadistic. They actually derived pleasure from suffering felt by other people. Especially when they inflict it. So, exactly. you know, next time somebody burns you online, says something nasty, don't get mad. You should really just feel sorry for them. Because research has shown that they're nothing but Machiavellian, narcissistic, psychopathic sadists. Or like, they're we sick. like to call them internet trolls. So, thanks for tuning in, guys. We feel better now. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, guys. As always, follow us on Twitter at Twin Doctors TV. Follow us on our wonderful troll free. Troll free, no website, trolling. Mm -mm. www.twindoctorstv. No trolls. Dot com. com. And of course, go to our Facebook page, Idris and Jamil Twin Doctors TV. Share us, like us, love us, love can't, us, get us. can't get enough of us. And go to our wonderful YouTube channel and be sure to subscribe. That's right, guys. Stay healthy and no trolls. Troll free zone. <laughs>